crane collapse. Another big story today on I-95 is creating an absolute nightmare for the evening rush. The southbound lane still shut down hours after it happened. Local 10's Hatzel Bella live with the latest on when the road will reopen. Hatzel, what a mess. So, yeah, quite a mess, and we are seeing some progress, at least starting to see some progress that may improve the evening commute. Take a look behind me as uh, we are looking at southbound lanes of 95. That uh, yellow crane just arrived within the past hour. That was it's part of the equipment that was expected to arrive to try to remove the debris. Obviously, though, this is still going to affect the evening commute for the next hour or so. Expect heavy delays worse than usual on southbound 95 during rush hour. Removal of debris and reopening of the highway could take longer than expected. With the, the resources that are needed to come into the area, we're looking at this going into the early evening. Sky 10 shows us where it happened shortly before 11 a.m. The southbound lanes of 95 between Sunrise and Broward Boulevard. Traffic there you could see at a standstill. There was a crane uh, that was on unstable ground. One of the concrete poles that they were working on fell and not one of the cranes out. So that caused a bucket truck with two workers to fall 30 feet onto 95 that were rushed to nearby Broward Health. At this time, the crane is still on unstable ground uh, and we have concerns that it may fall onto I-95. In case you're wondering, the construction you're seeing is because of road work that's been taking place as they drive pilings for a bridge that will go over a small canal nearby. Once we get that crane onto solid ground, uh, then we'll be able to remove the debris from I-95, check for any additional safety concerns, and reopen I-95. To complicate things even more, the fire rescue truck transporting the injured worker to the hospital got into an accident on Davie Boulevard in 95. The truck was still able to continue transporting the severely injured uh, individual to Broward Health, and then at that time the paramedics were also seen. All right, so the good news, the paramedic, paramedics are expected to be OK. As for the workers that were injured, one is in critical. The second one is in stable condition. We'll let you know at 6 o'clock what happens here. But again, expect traffic to be quite the mess for the time to come. For now, reporting along 9, I-95, I'm Hatsavala, Local 10 News.